Cross in County Antrim. Well, St. Coleman's with the stiff breeze behind them were in the lead by six points to three after just 20 minutes and looked as if they were going to take the game all the way to St. Pat's. Sideline kick in from there. Goes back again to Gareth McCafferty right in front of the goal. The ball breaks loose and it's a goal. A goal by James McCartan. After 23 minutes, he puts his team into the lead by two goals and six points to just three points. And so from the kickout by Barry McGonagall into the center of the field. Mike Tussle there for it, played forward. That's McCartan again. And he's got space moving in on the goal. Oh, a great shot and a great goal by McCartan. James McCartan has got the second goal. 2-6 to three points. And two goals inside a minute for McCartan. But here comes St. Pats now. Right in front of the goal and a punch. Anthony Toll. He's the man. Let free from Rudy Skelly. And Mahara fighting back now. Here comes some Coleman's again. Dropping in. Good catch by Barry McGonagall. Oh, and he doesn't get it away. Danger here. Oh, right in front of the goal. That's a goal. Champions, but Michael's Pat's coming back again. Nice little movement forward here. Brian McCormick. This is Ryan Murphy coming in. And it's a goal. Or is it? It's cleared out. And bundled into the net. What a tremendous mix-up. Well, is it a goal? The referee, Raymond Griffin, coming forward. Having a chat with the umpire. Yes, he's given the score. It's a goal. For St. Pats, and they're right back in this match. 3-6 to 2-3. At halftime, St. Coleman's looked as if they were going to walk all over St. Pats in that first half. The halftime score, 3-6 to 2-4. And into the second half, St. Pats now with the win behind them. Across the goal and Carl Diamond. Yes, it's a goal. Carl Diamond is the man. And how he's urging his team on now. Just two points between them. A free to St. Coleman's. Just those two points separating the teams. And a chance now for Gareth McCarty to stretch it to three points. Right foot. It looks good. It's over the bar for a point. Or is it? Well, one umpire has given it, but the umpire on the right doesn't. There you are. Is it inside the post or outside? The referee isn't sure. But he says no score. And the Uri people are not happy with that. The referee Raymond Griffin sticking to his decision. No score, and that could be an important one for St. Coleman's. Here they come again. Nice move down the left wing. McCartan coming to pick that up. Comes inside. Still McCartan. And a shot. Oh, and a goal for St. Coleman's. A fine goal by James McCartan. And in fact, three seven today. Here comes St. Pats again. Pressing forward. Good run this. And across the goal. And a shot. And it's a goal. Carl Diamond. And look at the determination. His second goal. Now they're back just to two points, the difference. 4 9 for Yuri, 4 7 for Mahara. And still, St. Pats come forward. And haven't beaten St. Coleman's in the final. And down goes Union O'Kane there. So St. Pats have a 13 meter free right on the left and big aim and Burns Burns remember was doubtful for this game well into the second half and he's still there right for it and it's there and just that one point now between the teams 
Four nine to Nuri, four eight to Mahara. And the crowd really getting excited now. St. Pat's have staged a tremendous fight back. Just one point in it, and here they come again. Right in front of the goal. Chance here, but well cleared away there. By Bernard Connolly. But back comes in Pats again. So Coleman's under tremendous pressure. This is Burns once more. Oh, a nice little turn. That's high. Yes, and it's there. Heyman Burns. And the scores are level. If he gets this one and put his team into the lead for the first time. Has a good look at it. Looks good from here. Yes, it's over the bar. And St. Pat's are in the lead. 4-10 to 4-9. Time running out for St. Coleman's. Oh, and was it a penalty? No, says the referee. Play on. So St. Coleman's breathe again. We're into the last minute now. And St. Michael's, St. Pat's father of Mara, can they hold on to this? Just the one point. Well, whatever time the referee is adding on. But St. Coleman's, they've shown they have the determination of true champions. Whistles from the crowd. They think the time is up. Barry Hines here with this sideline free. Ball in front of that St. Pat's goal. Tremendous scramble. Ball is loose. James McCartan. Forward by Peter Casey. Right in front of the goal. A chance here. Oh, and he's put it wide. Michael Hall right in front of the goal. Now, did it hit the upright or did it go straight wide? He remember that miss. And St. Pat's on the point of making history. No hurry by Barry McGonigal, the goalkeeper, to take this kick out. Adrian McCookin telling him what to do with it. A lot of time being wasted here. And well into injury time. Some pats with that single point lead. There's the kick out. And there goes the final whistle. And St. Pats have done it. A tremendous fight back by them in the second half.